What is up everybody? Welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound and in this video I want to do basically like a map overview of all the collectibles in the game. So originally I was basically going to go over like every single area and then go over like the billboards, the street arts, and or the bear champs as well and I decided to do this a little bit differently but one thing I do want to mention though is you guys definitely want to grab every single collectible in the game because not only do you get trophies and stuff for them, you also get three free vehicles with it as well. It's going to be a Ford Focus, a Ferrari, and a BMW M4. So this is definitely pretty awesome. So I would recommend grabbing all of these. It is definitely going to take some time because there is a lot of them. But luckily having like an overhead view of the entire map I feel like is going to be a lot easier. I was definitely pretty surprised after grabbing every single collectible that you indeed actually get three vehicles. One I believe is going to be level A then A+. And then finally level S or S plus I believe it is. I think it's S which is going to be the Ferrari. Definitely a really good way guys to get some free vehicles if you are looking for them. That way you can actually save up all your money and all that. So you can actually customize the cars or do like engine swaps and all that good stuff. But one more thing I do want to mention then I will show the entire map and or zoom around it. So you guys can see where all of these collectibles are. I was noticing after driving around the map for a good amount of time and actually grabbing many of these collectibles that for some odd reason the bigger billboards, normally like the tall ones near the highways and stuff like that, for some odd reason are not going to always show up on your mini map so I would be careful with that guys. I think it would be insanely frustrating for anybody to be like missing one billboard on the whole map and you're not actually going to know where that one is going to be but luckily finding the collectibles does seem to be pretty easy overall. It's more of a time-consuming thing than anything else. 